Today I'm thinking I want to do a little bit of science guy stuff. <laughs> no way. Howdy folks, happy December and welcome back to the PNW Vibe YouTube channel. Today I'm thinking I want to do a little bit of science guy stuff. So what I got is a cooler full of dry ice and a couple different shaped water bottles here. Now we've all for the most part seen dry ice rockets and seen people put dry ice in these bottles and blow them up. Damn, that looks like it's about to blow. I'm so not gonna scream. We're gonna do something more along the lines of rockets. I wanna take these bottles and drill a hole in the cap of one of them and see if I can get the pressure to release slowly enough and see if these things will launch. So let's get after this. Okay, that's not quite in the dead center, but that'll do just fine. I think the next order of business is gonna to be to build some sort of a launch rail. So let me show you what I got. So I got a couple chunks of scrap wood here. I'm thinking something like this will do just fine. All right, so let's get this thing screwed in. And last but not least, All right, beautiful. Only thing left to do is test it. All right, folks, so let me give you the rundown of how this is gonna go. Let me start by saying, don't try this at home. Try this at your own risk, all that good stuff. It is actually a felony to turn one of these bottles into a bomb and blow them up, so definitely don't do that. All right, so right here, we got some water boiling, getting it warm, and over here, we got our rocket. So the only reason this isn't gonna explode is because we have a hole right here in the cap. If there was nowhere for this pressure to go and we put the cap on here with the dry ice and the water in there, it would just build up pressure and blow up. Woo! So we got our rail slash ramp here, which our rocket is gonna ride along and hopefully launch itself off of. And in this bottle, we're gonna put a mixture of water and dry ice. That's all you need. The dry ice will start quickly sublimating in the water, ideally the warm water, and it'll build pressure in this bottle. And the idea is to have it escape out of that hole quickly enough to launch this bottle off of that rail. So. Let's try it out and see what happens. All right, we got all the ingredients right here. Let's see if we can make something cool happen. So we'll add a little bit of warm water. That should be plenty. Grab some dry ice. Hopefully there's a couple chunks that'll fit in here. Like that, like that. Then we'll take our cap, screw it on. I don't think it's gonna build enough pressure to launch. Let's let it sit there for a minute and see what happens. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Back to the drawing board. Right, well, that didn't work at all, so here's what I'm gonna try next. I'm gonna see if I can put a little dab of hot glue into this hole and seal it off so that we're able to build some pressure inside of that bottle before this thing blows and releases all the pressure in a more quick manner. All right, here we go, round two. Hot water. Grab a couple chunks here. All right, let's see if that does anything. Uh-oh. I don't think that glue's gonna pop. I think that bottle is. <laughs> well, that worked. All right, let's try this out a couple more times to see if we can get some better results, but at least consistent results. All right. I think that bottle's gonna go. All right, y'all, same concept, a little bit different bottle. Let's get this GoPro going. Perfect. I already got the dry ice in the bottle this time. Add some water. Place our cap. Oof. Mm. Alrighty folks, I was having a little trouble with the old hot glue and the bottle cap method, so I found something that I think might work perfectly. These rubber plugs that I found at Home Depot There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Fit perfectly inside this vitamin water cap. 
and I found one that'll almost fit inside of a Coke bottle, and I think I could shave it down enough to make it work. Also, this one right here will fit inside of a Gatorade bottle, so I got a little bit of a variety in different bottle sizes that I can choose. All right, I got one stop left to make. Let's go see if we can get some results with these. All righty, folks, we are starting to run out of daylight here, so let's get this testing underway and see if we can start to get some consistent results. Let's go ahead and try this Vitarain Zero by Kirkland bottle out next. See how she does. Get some of this in here. Have this plug on standby. I should probably be wearing safety glasses. Let me get some safety glasses. Ah, much more safer. I think this one bottle might work a little better because it expands a little more. So I should have a little more room to build pressure before this thing wants to launch it out. Damn. Let's try a different size plug. Okay, let's try this again. Put a little bit of water. Stick this plug in here and let's try that out. <laughs> no way. That worked so freaking good. Bottle's still intact. Let's see if we caught our plug. I built a little box right here to catch the, oh, perfect. That worked perfectly. Caught the plug right there. Man, all right. Alrighty, well, I gotta say that worked great, better than I expected, so let's try this again. See if we can get some consistent results, because that's the key. I don't wanna go up and test this out in the woods and do what I'm planning on doing if we can't get consistent results right here at my house, so. Try for round two, plus it's fun. Let's add some water. Plug this puppy up, Let's see what happens. Is this the right plug? Yep, I believe it is. Alrighty. Oh really? Oh, it needs a fucking tailpiece. It sure does. Okay, that should work a little better. All right. Not a chance now. Oh no! Dry ice, and again, this is lukewarm water. By this point, it's lukewarm. It was hot a little bit ago. Hammer the plug in, set her down. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I think that was a little too steep of a launch angle. No, brother, she's cooked. Ah, I guess there's too many bald eagles in that last long. All right, let's see if we can do some surgery on this unit and get her, see if we can get her ripping again. All right, we got her all bandaged up. We got this thing hot glued and secured back on there with some aerospace grade electrical tape. All right, let's go give this thing another rip. I think first and foremost, we better give this thing a little test rip. So let's see how she goes. There we go. Back and better than ever, baby. Let's give her a little trial run and see how she flies. A little downward, but that'll that'll work. A little nose heavy. Eh. Flies a little sidewards. All right, we got the shuttle all buttoned back up here. Let's give this thing another rip, see what happens.
Alrighty folks, over the past few days I've been doing a ton of research on math and numbers and, and letters and my findings, well they've been simply groundbreaking. It seems that based on my discoveries, we should be able to reach Mars with this four and a half foot rocket glider before Elon Musk does. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss that video because you're not going to want to. So four and a half foot rocket glider video is coming soon. Alrighty folks, if you found this video entertaining, be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.